Your Bearded Dragon's Diet is brought to you by RepCare, television and videos for happy and healthy herbs. Bearded dragons, what do they eat? Well, we're back with Hillary. Hillary, tell us a little more about the diet of a bearded dragon. Sure. We'll start out with the younger bearded dragons. Okay. A younger bearded dragon needs more of a protein-based diet, anywhere between 60 and 80 percent protein. Um, in front of us here, if you want to go ahead and pick out the mealworm okay. out of the cup there, that's ideally what you would feed a younger bearded dragon is the smaller. Okay, we have two sizes here. This is a smaller mealworm and this is the super mealworm. And the super worm you would feed to an older bearded dragon or an adult bearded dragon and the smaller one you would feed to a baby or a juvenile. Okay. Also, you have the crickets over here, if you want to go ahead and show that to them. All right. And you would also base the cricket size on the size of your bearded dragon. This one here is for a mid-sized to adult bearded dragon. Mm -hmm. You would give them crickets. And then for a treat, you would give them the wax worms, which are in this container here. Okay. Adult bearded dragon's diet should be mostly vegetable and less on the protein. So when they're younger, you want to have a higher protein, and when they're older, you want to have less protein. Um, here we have some romaine lettuce, okay. and we have some carrots. You can also add in yellow squash into the diet. There's many uh, reptile-friendly vegetables that you can use. When they're older, you can give them larger leaves of romaine. When they're younger, you just want to go ahead and break it up into little pieces like so. Mm -hmm. And if you want to demonstrate, Israel, how you go ahead and shred the carrot with a cheese grater, okay. that's a very easy method. I'm not much of a chef, but I think I can pull this off. All right. This isn't too hard. How's that? Looks like you're doing a good job. Okay, good. All right, what do we do now? Next, on the food, you would place either their multivitamins or their phosphorus-free calcium. Okay, is this kind of like vitamins we take? Yeah, just like vitamins we take. In the wild, they get their vitamins and their calcium the natural way, mm -hmm. but they can't do that when we have them in captivity. So we need to make sure they have their supplements. Okay, and these are our supplements, right? Yes, yeah, so on the okay. right we have our phosphorus-free calcium, okay. and on the left we have our multivitamin. All right, which one should this guy get? Well, this guy is an older bearded dragon, so he would receive the multivitamin. On a okay. younger bearded dragon, you would make sure that you would give them the phosphorus-free calcium, okay. and you then you would give them the multivitamins. But you don't want to mix the two of them because they're going to lose efficiency if you mix them. So what we like to tell people when they purchase a bearded dragon mm -hmm. is Monday through Friday do the calcium, and then on Saturday okay. and Sunday do the multivitamin. Okay. And it usually works out great because, you know, it's real easy to remember. All right, so no calcium for this uh, adult bearded dragon. Nope, he's already done all the growing he can do, and his bones okay. are strong and healthy. All right, I'll just do a little pinch on top of his food here. Let me move this out of the way. Yep, just right, do a light go. sprinkle over How's the top this? of it. Yep, you got it. And on the uh, baby's food, you want to make sure to thoroughly coat it in calcium because a lot of reptiles suffer from calcium deficiency okay. because they're not getting it in captivity like they should. Okay. Does that look good? That looks great to me. All right. Is he ready uh, to dine? Let's hope so. See if he's hungry enough. All right. As Hillary places the food in there, I'll give you a little recap. We've spoken about live food such as wax worms and two sizes of mealworms and also crickets. And then we spoke about uh, a vegetable aspect of the diet. In this case, it's romaine lettuce. Remember not to use iceberg lettuce. There's no nutrition in that for reptiles. Romaine lettuce is a fine lettuce to use. In addition to that, uh, we could use carrot, which is what we use today in the studio. You could also use squash as well. And then to top it off, just like you have vitamin supplements at mealtime, so reptiles need to have their vitamin supplements as well. In this case, we have a phosphorus-free calcium and, as Hillary mentioned, a multivitamin. And we sprinkle that on top of the food. And uh, Hillary, he's not eating right now. Should I, we be worried about that? I wouldn't be worried. We're standing around right now, and he may be a little nervous and thrown off because he's not in his normal environment and mm -hmm. things aren't going normal for him. What I like to recommend with um, people purchasing a new bearded dragon, they always place food in the cage, and they say, oh, why isn't he eating his vegetables? Mm -hmm. A lot of times, bearded dragons will go for the wax worms or the mealworms or crickets first because okay. it's, I like to liken it to candy to a kid. If you give a kid 
a kid candy, mm -hmm. they're going to eat the candy and not their veggies. So in the morning, offer them their vegetables first and then offer them their insects because they're more likely to eat their insects. So just go ahead and offer them a fresh plate of veggies. Make sure it's always fresh every single day when you feed it to them. You never want to give them any rotten vegetables. So give them their fresh vegetables, leave it in there until you notice they eat some, and then go ahead and offer them their insects. Okay, there you have it. The diet of a bearded dragon. Just as eating food that uh, tastes good and that is nutritious to you uh, is important, so it's important also to your pet bearded dragon. So some things to keep in mind here uh, as to feeding your bearded dragon to keep a healthy and happy pet. We'll see you again. Your Bearded Dragon's Diet was presented by RevCare, television and videos for happy and healthy herbs.